series, see if his airness learned from that experience. And welcome to the Richfield Coliseum for Game 5 between the Chicago Wolves and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Scotty Pippen, Horace Grant, Bill Cartwright, Michael Jordan, and Craig Hodges for the Chicago Bulls. Larry Nance, John Williams starts his second game at forward. Brad Doherty is the center. And Mark Price and Ron Harper in the backcourt. And we're underway. Cleveland has it. The officials working today, three highly experienced officials, Jack Matt, Jake O'Donnell, and Hugh Evans. I look to go to Doherty. You must get him going early in the ballgame. Not only is he the premier scorer, but he's also their best passer. John Williams. This is the first shot of the game, and Price keeps it alive. Continuing the trend of game four, Cleveland getting just about all the loose balls. Ron Harper. We should be looking for Michael Jordan to be catching the basketball with many opportunities at the top of the circle. Scotty Pippen going into the hoop and he's fouled. This is the way the series has gone. Only three points separate the two clubs. Chicago has outscored Cleveland by three in a dramatic game four overtime affair when Michael Jordan, after a sensational 50-point effort, missed a free throw that would have given Chicago a three-point lead and Doherty made two key free throws down the stretch with four seconds to go in regulation. Cleveland won in overtime. Doug Collins telling his man Pippen to settle down. Scotty Pippen has been the second leading scorer for the Bulls. His best game was the opener. He missed the point. Guarding the rebound. Long pass to Nance, who got hot the last two games against the Chicago Bulls. An illegal defense called against the Bulls. Well, he caught the Bulls that time. has to watch out for foul trouble. The Bulls need his three-point shooting, and he has gotten into foul trouble more often than not in this series. Harper has hit his first two shots. So Michael Jordan is the point guard. He's going to try to set up other people, but basically for the Bulls, it's been a one-man gang offensively. They're playing two men now, Jordan and Cartwright. Cartwright scores, and one thing Doug Collins said to get more points from other people was to get the ball in to build Cartwright. Well, in game one in this building, Dick, in the third quarter when Chicago opened it up.